In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to prepare your own minifigure. Start by importing the control rig, which you can download from our website. Great! One important thing about the scale, the real-life figures are really tiny. Let's compare them with a basketball. We recommend scaling the 3D model by 10, as the scene is in real-life units. So, let's do that quickly. The control rig already has a basic minifigure. Besides the body controllers, the rig also includes controllers for the face via blend shapes. You can find these in the hierarchy. The yellow selected ones are the active controllers. Once we tap on these, we can explore individual blend shapes. They can be animated by keys or with face tracking automatically. Just split the screen and open the face tracking. Then select the character and now you can control the face. Pretty cool, right? To record it into keyframes, just press the record button. We can also set which axis of the head controllers will be driven and adjust the intensity. All right, let's continue by importing a different minifigure model and using the rig. Head over to macabrics.com, go to the library, open it, and export it as OBJ. Back to Naomi, use the OBJ to GLB converter import the model and apply the scale factor. The last step is to save it with a zip extension. It's very important. Now import the converted file into Naomi. Choose to create a controller for every node and put it in the scene. If you remember, at the beginning, we scaled our model by 10, so let's do the same for the new model. The very last thing is to align it. Great! To finalize the rig, we will constrain the geometry to the rig. It's pretty easy, so let's grab this red controller. Find it in the hierarchy, add a parent constraint, and under the source, select the left arm controller of the rig. Now, if we rotate it, we can see that the geometry moves with it. Great! And we can also turn off the controller because we no longer need it. Now, continue to the hand. Again, select the hand, add a constraint and source, and turn off the visibility. A quick test, and we can continue to the legs. Great! With the hips geometry, we will again parent them to the hips controller. Let's quickly do the right arm and hand. Now onto the torso. Add constraints and choose the hip controller as the source. We are almost done. Let's quickly do the hat and head. We also want to hide the rig and pivot controller on the model. Great! Next, let's hide the geometry of the basic minifigure, one by one. Cool! So now we have a character ready for animation. The rig is working with the imported geometry. To use the head with the blend shapes, we can simply hide the imported head and use the original one. Great! In the next tutorial, we're going to see how to create a full 3D shot. 